you know what, Flex? When it first happened, I thought, I thought, because I know you and obviously Ronnie Coleman, you're such good friends. He, he, I mean, I speak to Ronnie frequently, and he, he always talks so highly of you, Flex. And I thought, obviously, with what Ronnie's gone through, with uh, we've seen in the documentary, and we've know we know as friends, and we know in the media what he's been through with his back and his hips and all the different problems. Right. Have you? Have you? Has he? I mean, I, I know you speak frequently. Have you managed to connect and kind of help support each other when he had his problems and you had yours? Oh, yeah, definitely, man. Every problem he had, every surgery, I would contact him. We would pray. I would, uh, when he would be under, um, I would be in contact with his wife. I'd be sending him messages. Yeah. Um, as soon as he was able to talk while he was in the hospital, we would talk. I mean, my, Ronnie's one of my closest mates in the world. Mm. You guys have seen that in the interview that I did with you. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, but the interesting thing is um, it's really odd. It, as much as Ronnie's been through, he um, he had contacted me maybe about a month ago. Okay. Um, and at first he just apologized that he hadn't been in contact. He goes, you know, man, you know I love you. He goes, but I don't know what to say, Flex. Mm-hmm. You know, my heart don't know what to say to you. Yeah. I was like, you know, Ronnie, it's okay. And he goes, man, but I want to ask you a question. I go, what? He goes, when I was in the hospital, my, my last surgery, he goes, I, ha- I got a blood clot also. And I'm like, what? He goes, yeah, man, I got a blood clot. I go, damn, Ronnie, really? Um, I go, okay. He goes, what caused you, you lose your leg? I go, a DVT, that's mm. deep vein thrombosis. It's, it's basically a major blood clot. Yeah. He goes, oh, my God, really? He goes, man, he goes, I go, okay. I go, Ronnie, you might want to take that really serious. He said, well, man, the reason why I'm really calling you is I got a trip, and I'm, I'm supposed to be going out of the country in a couple of days. And I was like, Ronnie, don't do it. Mm. I was like, don't do it. Don't get on that flight. You know, um, I go, I know you have a job to do. Um, you know, I love you. Um, I go, but you're not hurting for money. I go, your kids, your family, you're not hurting for money. I go, don't get on that flight. Mm. I go, I beg you, brother, don't get on that flight. I go, once you get that under control, you'll be able to travel and everything. But if this just recently happened, I, I beg you, don't get on that flight. Mm. I, the potential chance of what could happen, I don't even want to say. Yeah. And he, I take your word for it, Flex. He goes, I'm a counselor. I go, you promise? He goes, yeah. I'm not really? Gonna go. Yeah, he goes, I promise. I'm not going. Wow. And he didn't go to the flight. So he goes, uh, he goes man, well, I got to be honest with you, Flex. You're stronger than I am. I go, Ronnie, all the surgeries you've been through? Are you kidding? He goes, well, you've been through way more surgeries than I have. I go, <laughs> he goes, but no matter what, I've never been through a surgery like this. Mm-hmm. He goes, bro, I don't think I'd make it. I go, Ronnie, I'm like, you're one of the strongest mental people. He goes, bro, I never lost nothing. I'm just saying, man, you're a strong man. I'm not sure if I could handle it the way you have. And i like, you know, well... You know, thank you, Ronnie. I appreciate that, man. I go, you know, let's pray that you never have to. I go, but 